Io, the moon of Jupiter, Io. Jupiter or Saturn, I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe it's Saturn, but I'm not sure. But anyway, look the same exact thing. Tools, all the same exact, I mean exactly. This is what the solar system is made of, these things. There's no stars or meteors or shit. This is all what it is, this is structure. We'll see, it's an illusion, a freaking illusion. Semi-real, because they, they materialize electromagnetic stuff, it's, it's dual. Look at that, a stone sitting on top of a structure next to another thing that is sitting on top of it and then you see the tubes and it's like you're looking at a, a city, a weird city. This is what the solar system is like all over, just like that, Apollo 8 image show around the moon wall, it's the same exact thing, exactly. There's nowhere to go, so if you know how to move around this conduits and shit. And look, the same. On top of a big ass pyramid. And he's surrounded by all these structures. And they're everywhere. I mean, this is the solar system is encased in a structure, this. And the Earth is inside another structure that we think is that, like this and like that, but we don't really see the whole nothing. We don't see anything because they're, they're pumping vibration and frequency into our head and our bodies and everything. So it's really we are inside two structures and every planet, moon, whatever is a structure, some kind of structure that is projected to look certain ways. And yes, you can fly to it through this whatever electromagnetic ocean. But we just don't see it how it is. Only cameras can see it because they don't have brains. No, look, if you don't understand what this is, look. Eyes. The other eye. Some are bigger than others, grotesque here that they make. If you look at this pattern I just draw, did the drawing, look in the V shape, it's everywhere the same thing. I mean it doesn't change a bit. And it's like millions and millions of those. You, you can look at every single image from any single planet and moons and comets and asteroids in this solar system and you will find the exact same thing. It is not different. I mean, not this is the moon, by the way. This is the, the 
this is the moon right here. That's the surface of the moon. This image was a record from an Apollo A image that didn't show nothing. It was blurred to death. And Robert Peternell, with a simple Photoshop, recovered this image. That's amazing. What he didn't understand is that these things are conduits. This thing goes up and diagonal and vertical and divides and this is what it is. These entities use, I mean, this is texture. We cannot see anything because that structure around Earth doesn't allow us. It is, it's controlling our brain and everything else inside this biosphere that is terraformed. And, I mean, it's, this is hard to grasp. But like I say, once I saw Remakers of Saturn, I understood all of this immediately. It took me 13 years to find out what this whole deal is about. Look at this corridor, and then goes into this structure. There's a two-wheeler thing here. I mean, there's millions of things there, structures. And it's just, I mean, it's just an ocean of stuff. Bill Burroughs wrote the book, This New Ocean. Now I know what that meant. He understood this. So he, the NASA people knows all of this, the, the, the ones that are in the know. And all that bullshit that they tell us, that they, oh, they call me how the planet was formed and blah, blah. That was all a, a whole bunch of bullshit to keep us thinking that way. And none of that is true. None of it. This is a freaking illusion that we're living. So they're manipulating us, I mean, to, to amazing levels. And when you see the objects from Leonardo Walsh's recordings, they all planted a specific must be on the left side for this look. These eyes are looking to the left. These two are looking to the left. So according to the observation that Ron Stewart made, he said that from what he saw on the moon in his advanced photo extraction process, APEP, it's a technique that, that he and Ron Nusek developed in, in the optical physicists. And that technology they developed to see a stuff beyond the realm of a normal photograph. They could focus on a tiny little point inside a picture and they could in, in magnify and enlarge and enhance it to where you could see not only around it, but inside of it with x-rays. Well, they, he showed that in, in, in a conference, the disclosure pro, uh, project. And he showed, they showed us two physicists, Ron Stewart, Ron Speck. And they show that this, uh, the moon has this fight he saw in, in where the Apollo 11 landed, or the, the 14 and several of the Apollo, there were holes that were hexagonal and they had like levels of energy and different colors and different designs with different signs of layering inside each one. And he say around those holes, there were these faces like this, and their eyes, there were different type of reptilia like, like these ones. 
And they were looking towards a certain place, and whenever they were looking at it, they were like a big something, a very design, design really incredible. Apparently, that was a cue the eyes tell that race where to go. It or a love is what rule you to be okay. And this entity knows that too. They watch you every day. They know who's who and who do what. Now, if you mess up, they'll get to you and make you do bad shit and get you in deep troubles and whatever. Like I said, don't bother them. Poor Nicole and just turn the page, go somewhere else. Boo. Boo how the image vibrates itself. Get out of the way. Picture of the moon. Well, there's supposed to be nothing, but that's because they overexpose the image. Look at this tube that goes into the crust of the moon. And look, that's what's there. Bunch of eyes, the same thing. There's another one right here. Look at the but vertical view. the same time. It's some kind of tubular deal. stuff. These things that are on top of that, they have created that from the melting the upper layer. And according to the astronaut from Apollo 17, he said he was climbing a steep bridge and that he was made out of these blocks that had glassy surface colorful, but then at the bottom of five meters of a square. Five meters, that's 15 feet square feet, each block. And he said that the bottom of the blocks were crystalline. I mean, something oriented from northeast to southwest in this direction, like this digger right here. this direction. So he said he went over a, a steep bridge. Who knows which one this deal was. But uh, none of the deal that they say where they landed, where is the car? No, nothing is there. There's nothing left there. It's only like they say the flag and the motor. But I mean, NASA, you can believe NASA. None of the shit they say is true. Oh my God, look at this eye right here. There's another one right here. And there's a big reptile head with a mouth wide open, but that's an eye where the mouth is. Look at that shit right there. That's incredible. Well, nothing looks incredible to me anymore. Look. But the eye with the vertical pupil, and that's the eyebrow, but the eyebrow is a little ripped out head. Like a dinosaur. And then it's another one right next the thing drifting to another one right there and 
लोग इंसान के लायक